Hypnosis is a state of focused attention and increased suggestibility that can serve as a tool for unlocking the subconscious mind. During hypnosis, a person typically enters a relaxed, trance-like state where they become more receptive to suggestions and are able to access memories or emotions that are not readily available in a normal waking state. How does hypnosis differ from everyday relaxation? In this state, the conscious mind takes a back seat, allowing the subconscious to surface and potentially be reprogrammed or understood more clearly. One common application of hypnosis is in therapy, where it's used to help individuals overcome phobias, manage chronic pain, or break unwanted habits. For example, a person with a long-standing fear of flying might, under hypnosis, revisit the underlying causes of that fear in a controlled environment, allowing them to reshape their emotional responses. Could this method really change deeply ingrained patterns of behavior? Studies have shown that when used by trained professionals, hypnosis can facilitate significant changes in behavior and emotional regulation by tapping into the subconscious. Research into hypnosis has attempted to uncover the neural mechanisms behind these effects. Brain imaging studies have revealed changes in areas associated with attention, perception, and self-awareness during hypnotic states. These findings suggest that hypnosis may modulate activity in the prefrontal cortex and other regions, enabling a temporary suspension of normal cognitive filters. For instance, when a hypnotized subject is asked to imagine a particular sensation or emotion, their brain activity mirrors that of actual experiences, illustrating the power of suggestion. What does this tell us about the mind? It indicates that our perceptions and emotions can be influenced by altering the usual patterns of brain activity. Another area of interest is the use of hypnosis to enhance creativity and problem solving. Some individuals report that when they enter a hypnotic state, they experience a surge of insights or new perspectives on personal and professional challenges. This effect may be due to the loosening of rigid thought patterns and the increased access to memories and ideas stored in the subconscious. Hmm. Could this mean that hypnosis might be a valuable tool in creative industries? While research is ongoing, anecdotal evidence and preliminary studies suggest that the altered state of consciousness achieved during hypnosis can sometimes facilitate innovative thinking. Critical evaluations of hypnosis highlight the importance of the practitioner's skill and the subject's susceptibility. Not everyone experiences hypnosis in the same way and outcomes can vary significantly. Nonetheless, the ability to access and work with the subconscious mind offers intriguing possibilities not only for therapy but also for understanding the complex interplay between conscious control and subconscious processes. In conclusion, hypnosis provides a scientifically intriguing method for unlocking the subconscious mind, allowing both therapeutic and creative processes to tap into deeper levels of mental function. By inducing a state of focused relaxation, hypnosis can reveal hidden memories, alter behaviors, and even foster creative breakthroughs. How might further research into the neural basis of hypnosis refine its applications in medicine and beyond? As our understanding deepens, hypnosis may become an even more powerful tool for personal growth and scientific discovery. Hypnosis is a state of focused attention and heightened suggestibility where individuals can access subconscious thoughts and memories, and it is induced through verbal guidance and relaxation techniques that allow the conscious mind to recede temporarily. Scientific research has shown that during hypnosis, brain activity shifts toward patterns associated with deep relaxation and absorption, which is used in therapeutic settings to explore and modify subconscious processes. For instance, a person undergoing hypnotherapy might be guided to recall forgotten memories to help resolve underlying emotional issues. It's like turning down the volume on the conscious mind so you can hear the softer, hidden whispers of your subconscious. Hypnosis involves the modulation of brain networks related to attention, perception, and self-awareness. And neuroimaging studies reveal that during hypnosis, regions such as the anterior cingulate cortex and prefrontal cortex exhibit altered connectivity, facilitating focused attention and reduced critical filtering. 
These changes allow suggestions to bypass the usual cognitive defenses, reaching deeper levels of the mind, as evidenced when during a hypnotherapy session an individual experiences deep focus, where external distractions fade and internal imagery becomes vivid and detailed. It's like switching your brain's operating mode to deep work so that external noise is minimized and inner thoughts are amplified. Hypnosis is used therapeutically to address conditions such as chronic pain, anxiety, and phobias by altering the subconscious response to stress and discomfort, enabling individuals to reframe negative thoughts and behaviors by accessing and modifying deeply held beliefs. Clinical studies have demonstrated that hypnotherapy can reduce symptoms and improve coping mechanisms, offering a controlled method of altering consciousness that provides a complementary approach to traditional medical treatments. For example, a patient with chronic pain might undergo hypnotherapy sessions to learn techniques for reducing pain perception and improving quality of life. It's like recalibrating a malfunctioning alarm system so that it responds appropriately to real threats rather than false alarm. The subconscious mind contains beliefs, memories, and automatic responses that influence behavior without our conscious awareness. And hypnosis provides a pathway to access and potentially reprogram these subconscious elements through suggestion, allowing individuals to alter negative patterns and reinforce positive ones. This process illustrates the powerful interplay between conscious intent and subconscious processing, as seen when under hypnosis a person might be guided to replace an ingrained fear with a more positive association, gradually reducing anxiety. It's like editing the background software of a computer. The visible programs may run as usual, but improvements in the underlying code can enhance overall performance. Neuroimaging techniques such as fMRI and EEG have provided scientific evidence that hypnosis induces measurable changes in brain activity, showing that during hypnosis, areas involved in executive control and self-awareness are modulated, supporting the idea that the subconscious becomes more accessible. These studies validate that hypnosis is not mere stage trickery, but a genuine alteration of brain states. And ongoing research continues to refine our understanding of these neural mechanisms. For example, brain scans of individuals in a hypnotic state often reveal decreased activity in the default mode network, which is associated with self-critical thought. It's like observing the inner workings of a computer when it switches to a low power mode. Specific processes slow down while others become more active revealing a different mode of operation. Common techniques in hypnosis include progressive relaxation, guided imagery, and direct suggestion to induce a focused and receptive state. And these methods aim to quiet the conscious mind and allow the subconscious to become more prominent. Research shows that these techniques yield consistent physiological and psychological responses and form the basis for structured hypnotherapy sessions that can be tailored to individual needs. For example, a hypnotherapist might guide a client through a series of relaxation exercises, encouraging them to visualize a peaceful scene to deepen the hypnotic state. It's like slowly dimming the lights in a room to create a calming atmosphere that helps you unwind and think more clearly. Many myths about hypnosis, such as the idea that it causes loss of control or mind reading, are not supported by scientific evidence, and rigorous studies have demonstrated that individuals under hypnosis remain aware and retain control over their actions. Hypnosis is a collaborative process where the subject's willingness and concentration are crucial for success, and dispelling these misconceptions is essential for understanding hypnosis as a legitimate therapeutic tool. For example, controlled experiments show that participants can resist suggestions that conflict with their core values, highlighting that they maintain free will during hypnosis. It's like learning that a movie about mind control is just fiction. The real process is more about guided focus than absolute surrender. The use of hypnosis, particularly in therapeutic settings, requires strict ethical guidelines to ensure that it is applied safely and respectfully, and practitioners must obtain informed consent and maintain confidentiality while ensuring that suggestions are in the best interest of the subject. 
Scientific studies emphasize the importance of professional training and adherence to ethical standards to prevent misuse, helping to build trust in hypnotherapy as a beneficial tool. For example, professional hypnotherapists follow established protocols to ensure that the process is safe and that patients are fully aware of what to expect during sessions. It's like having a trusted coach who respects your personal boundaries while helping you improve your skills. The guidance is supportive and ethical. Future research in hypnosis aims to further elucidate the neural mechanisms underlying the hypnotic state and improve its therapeutic applications with advances in neuroimaging and cognitive neuroscience, likely providing deeper insights into how hypnosis affects brain networks. The integration of hypnosis with other therapeutic techniques could enhance treatments for psychological and physical conditions, and ongoing scientific exploration will help refine methods and dispel remaining controversies about the process. For example, emerging studies are investigating the long-term effects of hypnotherapy on conditions such as chronic pain and anxiety, seeking to optimize protocols for better outcomes. It's like continuously updating a software program, New research provides improved features and greater efficiency in the system, leading to enhanced performance over time.